Hey everybody, Robert with RC Archery here, and it is that time again. I've got another instructional video slash DVD available to view. This one I'm excited about. Uh, it actually took a lot of uh, pre-planning and work on my part, um, but there is some extraordinarily good information in there. I'm crossing over some uh, past and prior experience that I've gotten from other forms and other sports um, to be able to bring this over into this instructional video for you. Um, body alignment, biomechanics, and how all that's going to tie in to be able to get your perfect form on target. Now on top of that, I also combine two different projects into one. So what I found by looking at my own form is certain intersecting areas that um, made me wonder what everybody else was like. Um, it was kind of a aha moment, a light bulb moment, and I saw where everything connected, everything combined. Um, if you haven't seen any of those photos that I've posted yet, I put some on my Instagram account, my Facebook page, but I'm going to splice one in here. That way you can get an idea of what I'm talking about. All right, so hopefully now you have a little bit better idea of what I'm talking about after seeing that photo. So within this project, the intersecting lines that I saw throughout my uh, bow arm, my release side, the way that my shoulders lined up, my uh, bow hand even, all of that, I wanted to really look at that and see what it looked like compared to other archers. So I went directly to a spot that I knew that I could find the most uh, reliable source of information. So I picked out our professional archers. I went through several, several photos, just tons of them from all different types um, of disciplines, you know, nationalities, wherever it may be, because I really wanted to see if I could find any trends or if I could see in my own mind, knowing what my shot feels like based off what I was seeing in my photo, if any of that lined up with theirs. So that's what I have. This is a collaboration of all that. Um, I'm going to show you what I found in my information is two main types of form amongst all professional archers. There's skeletal support and muscle support. So within those two, there's some differences, but there's also some similarities that I found as well. Uh, the differences are going to revolve around the way that your body is aligned up through each individual segment, but the similarities between the two are the connecting factors as to what I was finding for my shot execution. So. All that information is all inside here. I'm also going to go over a lean, what it means by having a lean, why it's good, why it's bad, situations you would want to use it for, situations you wouldn't. Um, that information I'm going to cover on there. I'm going to help you be able to pinpoint and basically walk you through what I would go through whenever I'm dealing with an archer that I'm coaching or working with, looking at my own form, and that's going to be on draw length and loop length and how that affects our float on target and how that affects our release, uh, release execution and leverage over our bow. A lot of archers, especially beginning archers, they can't feel the small changes over what we would do. So by using these tools and being able to see how the alignment and everything is utilized, that'll help lead you in the right direction on saying, okay, I need to adjust this to move this line and to move this intersecting point over. Hope you enjoy it. I enjoyed being able to put it together. It was a fun video for me. I've got segments of pictures that I'm gonna splice in and do voiceovers and talk with, and also just me talking and explaining and showing um, exactly what I'm going over. Uh, if you have any questions, here's my email address. Send me an email, ask me, let me know. I'd be glad to talk to you about it. Uh, I look forward to being able to hear from you. Feedback, anything like that, good, bad, whatever it may be, I'm open for it. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed as much as I did making it and being able to put it out for you.